Hello, this is Andrea, and welcome to my channel, and thanks for joining me today in the Babe Cave. I have a random haul full of Amazon, uh, thrift store finds, and name brand clothing store finds. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. So first up is bag of the day, bag of a few days, because this is amazing. Thank you again, Autumn Beckman, for selling it. <laughs> and it is the softest leather. Um, they used to sell these on Amazon, and I'm sure it got pulled because it looks very similar to a Birkin bag. <laughs> without any names or, you know, where the names would normally be. But that's... A, a review for another day but so since it's the dupe inspired bag for the Hermé Birkin bag I decided to get the dupe on Amazon of the horse charm or I think it's called the Milo charm bag charm and I got this one and it's in that you know fuchsia pink brown it looks really cute on this bag and it was a set of five, so I also got blue, a dark blue, a light blue, a green one, and an orange one. And this will be linked down below. Like I said, they're on Amazon. I believe this was $10 for five of these uh, little horse charms. So... I thought, you know, if I'm getting the dupe of the Birkin, I'm going to get the dupe of the horse charm. <laughs> so these are really cute. Um, you know, PVC. They got the, you know, oh, it looks, you know, like the real thing. But of course it's not, obviously, for $10. <laughs> but normally this would be a flap where you'd lift up and it would say uh, Hermé <clears throat> and some other information if it was a real bag charm of Hermé. <laughs> so I will link these cute little horse bag charms down below. And stay tuned uh, after I show you random items. I found two bags at the thrift store that I think I got for an amazing price, so stay tuned. There is handbags as well. But first off, um, I got this pair of hot pink, of course, thrifted. Uh, they're basically like capri pants, and I got them for really cheap at Goodwill. And the brand uh, is Rafaela Comfort. And I looked that up, and I think it's a Nordstrom Nordstrom rack, um, and I've worn them, so they're a bit wrinkled. A Nordstrom rack sale, a pair of pants. And I got this shirt to match it, and it's a Liz Claiborne shirt, and it's gold and white stripes, sparkly, and then this little detail on the sleeve got me. I like the little knots on the, the short sleeves. But yeah, really pretty gold and white. And it looks good with these pants. Next up is this Top Gun shirt because, well, it's Top Gun. <laughs> and it was uh, on sale at Walmart. And it was, I think, like $4. It's just a black t-shirt. You know, if you're from, you know, the Top Gun era when it originally came out, you probably would like this shirt. So it's at Walmart. Next up is a store called Name Brand Clothing. And what that is is uh, department stores uh, send over maybe overflow of certain brands that they couldn't sell. Um, so the Name Brand Clothing store is like a, a half off of half retail price and then they have sales all the time but um I found these um belk earrings and they have like a calf skin or you know 
or fur type material on on the hoop itself in that leopard print I see a little bit of flaw right here but yeah that's another thing you have to look for there could be snags in the clothing there could be holes that you so I always try on anything clothing wise that way I can see if there's any defects like the zipper is missing zip, zipper pulls missing or anything like that but yeah these are super cute I just liked them <laughs> so yeah this can be fixed where you just gotta glue that corner piece down a little bit but super cute so there's my earrings I found this one's a bit wrinkled but isn't this pretty with that the pretty flowers and the pink and white I love to wear a lot of white in summertime and the brand on here is uh Daniel Rain really pretty lace detail it's flowy and then the back got me too it's a uh, sleeveless and here's the back detail and I did try it on and there's no flaws at all because you know not everything has flaws it's just they couldn't sell them or they had too many or you know but yeah it has two buttons at the top I really like this lace detail down the back as well so a very nice pretty summer shirt and both of these materials are very soft and this one is by Kim Rogers and it's a more like a salmon colored pink polka dot with silver button details again it's sleeveless it's flowy and here's the back side super pretty and I can't remember how much I paid on this I'll put the prices up here what I paid for these uh, name brand clothing and uh, the earrings that I got but yeah super cute love it's super soft material Okay, finally we're on to the bags. I found these at Red Racks Thrift Store. And my first one I found, um, I got it half off at Red Racks. And I paid five, $5, $6 for this purse, $5.50. And it's the Hobo International. It's like a light gray, crinkly leather material there's the other side hobo international if you're ever looking at the thrift store these tend to sell really well on the resale market so i didn't spend very much on this little cute bag it's a little shoulder bag it's trending now you know with a 90s style and it has this detail right here of a side pocket which let me cut that tag the measurements on this Hobo International bag is uh, almost 13 by about 5 of what you could fit in it. And the depth um, at the bottom is about 3.5. And, and the shoulder drop is close to 9. It's almost 9. So perfect shoulder drop. So I cut the tag off, and here is the little side pocket that comes in a lot of hobo shoulder bags. I notice that they have this little hidden pocket. It's it's uh, probably good enough for like a card wallet, um, and it goes to about here where my thumb is. Really nice detail. I like the little braided zipper pull there. And then here is the inside. It has... The zipper and right here it says hobo on the zipper pull. The middle, it's a silver hardware. And then I stuffed it, of course. When I get them, I stuff them. <laughs> but it has this like cute interior. Hobo International bags have these patterns of uh, on the inside that are super cute. And see hobo the original has a slip pocket and a zipper pocket fits all your essentials um, and I don't think there's any oh 
wait. I was wrong. There is one, two, also on the other side, slip pockets. So, and the interior of this bag, let's take that out, is super clean. Nothing wrong with this bag at all. So it'll be a nice resale item that I don't really have to do much. <laughs> so that's really a plus. So this is the Hobo International bag that shoulder bag I found. Okay, this is a brand that I don't know a lot about. Um and the pronunciation is a little tricky. I think it's Edian Anye. And I'll show you the tag inside, but it is definitely genuine leather. It's a vintage bag because I looked it up while I was at, this was at Goodwill. I've seen this brand before. I know that these can be high dollar in, in some spots. So let me tell you what I, <laughs> I'll tell you what I paid after I show you details of it, but no feet on the bottom. It has this very generous shoulder strap with one, two, three, four, five drop length with this gorgeous gold buckle. And there's no name anywhere on these that I have found on the, the actual buckle or anything. Um, but you always see this little logo right here in the corner of this brand. So this has so many compartments for a little bag. Um, let me give you the measurements of this bag. So it is about 12 by six. And at the bottom, it is about three. So it's a, it's a nice size little shoulder bag. But let me show you the inside. Okay, so on the outside, it has two outer pockets. Um, and it has the the d print of their logo on the inside. Um, I, it, it's almost like, I guess it's an A. I, you know, again, I don't know a lot about this brand. So it has those two outer pockets. And then, so you see the zipper pull. Well, wait. There is another pocket on this side and then another pocket on that side. So you've got one, two, three, four slip, you know, slips plus the zipper pocket makes five. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you might lose your where you're putting things, um, which is possible, but um, you might not. But plenty of room for your phone. Um, let me show you the, the leather pull here. Zipper's really nice. And then I'll, of course, have it stuffed. Let me show you the inside. It has, and it's black inside, so it's a little hard to see, but it has two slip pockets on that side. Opens up pretty wide. There, I shed some light on the... It has the two slip pockets right here. There's the interior. And then here's the zipper side with the label. Again, I think it's called Etienne Agna, Aina. I'm not sure. <laughs> I need to study up on this brand more, but genuine leather. And then I looked for, also for authenticity was, there's the snap. So you can get this pull zipper pull unsnapped here. And there's no name on the little button, but I looked for another tag, which was this tag over here. And it says the the style number, the 90360 Made in China, and 100% cowhide leather. So to me, this is a genuine bag. Um, you know, if you know any information on this brand, let me know down below. But what I paid for this bag, so it was nine thirty three, but it was half. So I paid around five bucks for this 
again for this bag that's genuine leather and it's really there's no flaws to it and the leather is soft all those compartments i mean look at all of them plenty of plenty of space for your everyday essentials here's the back i mean no scratches to be seen so this is a good you know resale bag as well because i don't know a lot about it i did find one and it was on vestiaire collective which i'm really not uh, familiar with either and this exact bag because I looked at all the pictures was for sale on their site for $170 now I don't know you know a lot about again this brand to know if I could sell it for that but um, that would be sweet if I could but any information you have you know leave it leave it down below I love this gold hardware it's really pretty so it's a really nice, nice purse. So yeah, there is my haul video of randomness, <laughs> plus these two handbags. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up, um, you know, tell me which piece you liked. And uh, if you know anything about this brand, let me know down below, like I said. <laughs> Be sure and hit the bell so you won't miss my videos. I usually pop them up every two to three days and with some shorts in between so i hope you enjoyed this and i thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye